baseball coach kicked off his 59th season today, but this one will be different than all the rest. Fox 12's Nick Krupke was invited out to Sunset High School, where Royce McDaniel took the field for the first time without his best friend and partner in life. Here we go, Sunset on three. One, two, three. Sunday. Let's go, boys! Tempo! Tempo! Take me out to opening day 2023. The Sunset High Junior Varsity Team number two. Middle infielders use two hands. Here we go. It's just the joy of being associated with these young people. They keep me young. The Apollo's JV2 squad is led by 83-year-old Royce McDaniel. Hey, let's get ready to play. Sweet man from Sweet Home. I noticed you didn't take your hat off. You said you were going to get a haircut. The old ball coach is calm and cool. Two, yeah. pull back, three, yeah. four. Okay, there you go. I like, look at me, you're teaching me something new. <laughs> now, I'm not going to say that when I first started coaching that I wasn't a little uh, on the boisterous and uh, a little different. I had trouble with umpires back in those days. No way. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, today, no. I just enjoy being here and being with them. Out of board. The Oregon Sports Hall of Famer was a three-sport athlete at Lewis and Clark where he's in the Hall of Fame. The Pioneers were before playing in the Pittsburgh Pirates minor league system. I hit 357, led the league in doubles, and I got the AAA contract. But the United States Marine Corps decided that they uh, had a better contract for me. So After his time as a Marine, Royce came back home and coached at Milwaukee High before taking over the Lake Ridge baseball program and leading the Pacers to a state title in 1974. Just the experience of being around kids and being around uh, a baseball and a bat, it's important to me. Youngster. Also a state champ in girls' hoop. Come on, you, know, you got to get it right. Yes. Retired PE teacher and driver's ed instructor. Royce drives himself fly fishing quite a bit in the off season. Not the size of the dog in a fight, it's the size of the fight in the dog. Got it, babe? Father of two is the grandpa of five and soon to be great gramps to three. Number one, I don't feel that old. Yeah. But I, I look at uh, some of these players that I've had and some of these grandkids that I've had, and it's scary. The baseball community rallied around Royce when he needed an uplift the most this past fall. Thousands of games. She came and she sat in that chair right there. For the first time in six decades of coaching, the one he loved the most is no longer there. Royce's wife of 60 years, Donna, passed away in October. I would like to have a dollar for every baseball game she attended in those 58 years. She was super. She took care of the kids and uh, I'm not always around, but I try to be home every night. After a long winter of grieving, the gift of the game has a spring in his step, just as it always has. Are you out there at shortstop? They actually let you play. It's helped me, of course. Instead of sitting home and thinking about things, uh, it helps me to get out and get, uh, get associated with people again. So that's been very helpful. And so when she'd see you go after an umpire, what would she tell you after a game? <laughs> Act your age. <laughs> Donna's chair is open here as she's watching from up there. Still yet to miss one of Royce's opening days at Sunset High School, Nick Krepke. Fox of Oregon. Uh, Nick, thanks so much. Uh, just a, a, a local treasure.